everyone. When it comes to the Kyrie Irving and Russell Westbrook trade, there have been quite the roller coaster of reports, right? It seems like there's every day conflicting reports, new updates every couple hours, things like that, as both sides try to gain as much leverage as possible. And with the conflicting reports, it's always hard to know what is real, what is factual, what is actually out there. And to further implement this, uh, there was an interview today with Darvin Ham. And he was asked questions about Russell Westbrook and the future of the Lakers, right? And he's the only one who really seems to be speaking in regards to Russell Westbrook. All of the reports, anytime anybody's asked, it's kind of just the generic answer. Darvin Ham seems to really be the one that's very outspoken when it comes to Westbrook. And in the interview today, he talks about how, you know, Westbrook is this guy. Like Westbrook is the guy that is the motor, is the engine. You know, we want to use that energy to his strengths on the defensive end. I sat down with him and we went over play schemes and, you know, I FaceTimed him and I called him and we saw at the first uh, inter introduction interview, you know, Russell Westbrook was there in full support of Darvin Ham and he's just spoken nothing but highly. Uh, but with that, many questions arise of like, okay, does this mean that the Lakers are going to keep Westbrook? You know, are they going to try to figure out another way to go get Kyrie? Is the Kyrie Irving trade not going to happen? Like, what is going to develop? Because Russell Westbrook does not work with Anthony Davis and LeBron James. And then there's the talks of like, will he come off the bench, right? Have him be the sixth man. Let him run wild with the, you know, the, the bench unit. And then he can kind of just be that guy. And you could still do that with Westbrook, right? You could still have him uh, kind of start and then sort of sprinkle in the, the, the bench unit, like have Russ run first five minutes or whatever with the starters, pull him out, let LeBron go or whatever, or pull, you know, LeBron and AD out put the bench in, and let him finish out the quarter. There's ways to go about it. But Darvin Ham has been, again, outspoken, saying Russ is our starter. Russ is the guy that we're going to go with. Well, I have the schemes and the play scans and all that stuff. But here's the thing when it comes to that. And yes, there is always the possibility that Russell Westbrook is on the Lakers roster at the beginning of the season. I don't think that's going to happen at all, personally. Um, you know, there were reports that the deal is already done. They're just kind of working on the KD trade that this, I mean, this deal could get announced at any moment, really, right? And there have been all the summer league signs, right? Russ and LeBron sitting at different ends, not even acknowledging each other. There were a lot of breadcrumbs signaling that Russell Westbrook is gone. But what is, what is Darvin Ham supposed to do? What is he supposed to say when he's doing these interviews? You got to remember, Frank Vogel never really wanted Russ. He never bought in of Russ. He never spoke highly of Russ. Nothing. He was totally against Russ from day one. Russ even said that. He said, you know, Frank Vogel never believed in me. He never, like, we. I don't know what his problem was with me. You know, I was just this guy and he just came in and just didn't like me from the jump. You know, and so Russ feels that emotion, right? He's an emotional guy and he wants to, has that passion. And if you're the coach, Darvin Ham, right? Until it is confirmed, until it is official, because Westbrook is still on the Lakers roster at this point. So until that is confirmed, you have no choice but to ride with Russell Westbrook and operate as if he's still on the team because he is. Until that is official, the last thing you want to do if you're Darvin Ham is have Westbrook hate you and think that like and just not willing to to compromise for you, right? You want Russ to buy in and believe and be a part of this. And Darvin Ham's like, look, if you're here, like together, well, this is what we're going to do. Like, I want you here. I believe in you. I think that you are the engine that can get this car running. Like he has to be that guy. He can't come out and be like, well, Russ is gone, you know, so who cares? Like, who cares what he thinks? Who cares how he feels? Like, oh, he's, 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 he's feeling sorry. Well, that sucks, you know? And we've seen Anthony Davis, Everybody has talked about how great Anthony Davis is, right? Everybody's talked about how Anthony Davis is going to have this MVP here. Uh, you know, Rob Palinka was asked a bunch of questions. He spoke super highly of Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is the guy, you know, he's been silently working behind the scenes. He's doing this, that, and the other, and he's going to be that Anthony Davis that we know he can be that monstrous center, all of that, right? But you don't hear that with Russell Westbrook from anybody but Darvin Ham. And it's because he's the coach and he has to. You don't hear LeBron. LeBron's been sticking up for Anthony Davis like crazy. You haven't seen him stick up for Russell Westbrook coming out saying, Russ is my guy. 
You know, Russ is the guy. No, he's posting images of Kyrie Irving. He's, you know, liking tweets of Kyrie Irving coming back. All the reports of that LeBron's doing everything he can to get Kyrie to LA. All that stuff. How, like, what do you, what do you expect? Like, so one way or another, I think that this is going to unfold and evolve. Because at this point, you can't keep Russell Westbrook. You can't. You think Russ doesn't know that LeBron doesn't want him here, that the organization doesn't want him here, that the fans don't want him here. You think he doesn't know all that stuff? Of course he does. So I just think it would be an absolute disaster at this point. And the only way that I see all of this stuff happening is the Lakers know Kyrie's coming. We'll kind of, you know, Darvin, just show face, be the smiley guy, be the salesman, get out there. I know it sucks, but you got to do it for us. You kind of, you know, just hype up Russ. He's still on the roster. We have him until this trade can be announced and is official. Do this for us. And then, you know, once it's done, then you have Kyrie and we can figure it out. You know, because you also got to keep in mind, and this will be kind of the last point, and then I'll close out the video. But last thing you need to keep in mind, too. Up until, from the moment Darvin Ham accepted the job, even during the interview process, all the questions were, what are you going to do with Russell Westbrook? Darvin Ham, from the moment he was signed till about a month ago, was under the impression that Russell Westbrook is my guy. I got Westbrook, I got Anthony Davis, and I got LeBron James. From day one, all of his offensive schemes, everything he has put together up until this point is all centered around Russell Westbrook being on the roster. Because up until a month ago, Russell Westbrook is the guy that's going to be on the roster. So, of course, Darvin Ham is going to say it because it's true. Everything Darvin Ham isn't saying anything that isn't true because he's had to do that. He talked to Russ. He sat down with Russ and went over to the play schemes and the designs and the sets and everything because he thought Russ was going to be on the team. And then Kyrie Irving became available and it all changed. But Darvin Ham can't come out and be like, yeah, you know, Russ sucks. Like, you know, because what happens if it falls through? We've seen trades fall through all the time. We've had confirmed trades fall through. Right, I mean, you had you had a great example was the Lakers trade uh, with the with the uh, Toronto Raptors and the New York Knicks last year. It was a done deal, and then at the time when it was supposed to, it was announced everything. There was reports on it, all of that stuff, and then it came up to the day where they were going to make the transaction, and the Knicks decided they wanted another draft pick, and the deal fell through. But it was like the last hour leading up to the trade deadline, so it fell through. We have seen all kinds of deals fall through. So until it is, you know, until Kyrie is officially signed to the Lakers, not even just the reports. Let's say while you're watching this video, we get an announcement. Deals confirmed, Kyrie's going to the Lakers, all of that stuff. Until the moment that Kyrie is in a Lakers uniform and that contract is signed and the deal is official with the league, you have to operate like Russell Westbrook is our guy and he is the guy on the team. Because even if the deal is agreed upon, even if it is confirmed, even if it's something, it's always possible. What happens if somebody really does come out of the woodworks at the you know the final hour, right? It is like, oh, Lakers, you you're only asking for the Lakers to give up you know a first round and Russell Westbrook. Oh man, we got some expiring contracts. We'll give you a first and a second, you know. And it's like, oh well, negotiations are back on the table, you know. Until it is official, you have to operate as Russell Westbrook is your guy, but. Like I said, I think Kyrie Irving, it's done. It's all but done. It's just a matter of time before they announce it. There's no way the Nets are going to take Kyrie back. There's no way the Lakers are going to take Russ back. So I think the best solution for everybody is to just swap players. You know, Lakers throw in a draft pick, first round pick to make everybody happy. You kind of work out the other interchangeable pieces. A third team gets involved. Whatever they have to do, I really do think it's already been worked out. They're just trying to figure out the KD part. Uh, and then for those, just real brief, for those that are like, well, why don't they just announce it already? It's because it's leverage. It's a leverage play. you know. And you could argue Darvin Ham speaking so highly of Russ is a leverage play too. So even if the deal isn't done, them saying like, we're willing to run with Russ, we're ready to go with Russ, that is a leverage play. Because now Brooklyn, the, the Lakers are, are bargaining with themselves. There's nobody else that they have to compete with at this time. The only person that they are competing with is themselves. So if they can get as much leverage as possible, perfect. And that's their goal, to gain as much leverage as possible. But as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that, yes, this is just Darvin Ham? 
doing what he needs to do. He has to say this. This is his job. Uh, you know, do you think that that's the case? Do you think like this deal is a done deal? Kyrie Irving will be a Laker. It's just a matter of when, not if. How do you feel about everything that's going on? I'd really love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. One last little shameless plug is I did start As It Stands Lakers. Uh, it is a channel just like this, uh, dedicated to only the Lakers, because the Lakers are my favorite team. And on this channel, As It Stands, I talk about all teams, all sports, stuff like that. We have football season coming up, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. And I just wanted to make a dedicated channel to the Lakers to give the ins and outs. Now, all the big stuff, all the big news and stuff, I will still post here on this channel. Um, but if you want all the ins and outs and just rumors and theories and just discussions just strictly on the Lakers, uh, link down in the description or in the comment section. Go check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.